Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Poe Outdoors. And today, what we're going to be doing is something different. I'm going to be giving y'all a look at what all is in my tackle box, what all I've personally bought. Because I actually bought, like, I think all of my fishing gear, except for, like, 10 to 20% of it, which was bought by my dad and given to me by my dad. But, yeah. But before we do that, I'm going to apologize for not uploading in like three weeks, I think it's been. But I actually started school, as I said, like three weeks ago. And with football practice, every night until 5 o'clock, the sun going down at like 7.30 and homework, I just don't really have time to make that many videos. So I'll try to start now. Once now we've gotten into the groove of school, try uploading some more. But... Yeah, let's go ahead and show y'all what all I have in my tackle box. So the one that we're actually going to start off with here is my big tackle box. This was given to me by my grandfather for my birthday, and I'm going to show y'all what all I have stashed in this baby right here. In the first pocket, if I can get it open, I just got some batteries for my digital scale here. So if it ever runs out of batteries, I got some more. See if I can turn my mic off again. There we go. And so yeah, I got that in there. And then I got a little bobber. I actually didn't know that was in there. I actually need that. Thank you. Hey, this video helps out. And so now let's look at these two outer pockets we got here. Here in the old box. Uh, the old bag. And in the right pocket, we have a little assortment kit that I keep with me at all times. It's basically just for like trout and crappie, as you can see I've written right there, and just a little bluegill. On the inside we just have some, um, jig heads here, or not, I don't know, I think they're jig heads. Just like some little crappie or some little bluegill or something. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There it is right there, it's come up, and if you put a little, um, how in the world did a yellow one get in there? Did I just put that in there? No, I had a white one. I'm going crazy. <laughs> Anyways, if you put a little power bait or something on the end of it, which I think I have another pocket I'm about to show y'all, but it works really good with these things. And I'll actually show y'all how to put it on there and how I rig it up. And then we have these little bobber stoppers up here and then just some bigger heads. And on the other side, because it is a double-sided, which I think is pretty cool, I have... Two or three, I think just two. Two rooster tails, some swivels and some beads, some more beads in there, and then a bobber. Just actually, I'm gonna put that bobber that we found down here. If it'll fit, hopefully it'll fit. Oh, please fit. Yep, it fits. Don't think it fits. Oh, anyways, anyways, but yeah, that's what's in this first little pocket. It's just a little assortment kit. If I ever just want to go catch some crappie, I got everything I need. Alrighty, and moving right along. Let's actually look at the back before we go to that pocket. Guess what? I, I got me some real magic. Now, this is not a sponsor, as you know, because I only have like 64 subscribers. By the way, that was a big jump. Um, I went from like 40, 40 something to 64 in like two days because of keeping a Dutch. If y'all don't watch him, y'all need to go watch him. He's a really good channel. I commented to him. I asked him if he would help me out and grow my channel. He actually pinned one of my comments, which is where most of you of my gang subscribers have come from. So, hey, anyway, so back to this. So this is some real magic. What you do, you put it on your reels, which I'm actually about to show you these here in a minute. You put it on your reels, and if they have been like stuck, like stuck and hard to reel in and all that stuff, this will actually loosen it up. And so you know those coils that you get in your line whenever you have had line on your reel for a little while. This will actually get the coils out too, if I'm not mistaken. Anyways, yeah, great product. I use it on like all of my reels, and so yeah. Real magic. 25% in this can. 
Didn't even notice that. Anyway, let's go check out this pocket, which is my line pocket. This is where I have six line of them. Yeah, I think I have six in there. Six spools of line, all of them are in between. I think 15 and 25 to 30 pounds. Anything you need in there and a eight pounder for trout. Hold on, let me zip this up. Hard to film with one hand. Anyway, so yeah, that's where my line is. Let's get to what we're all looking forward to. The tackle boxes. Let me pull this one out here in the back. Move my knockoff AirPods. It's still in the works. Anyways, we can get this open here. And this is all my hooks and my weights and all that good stuff. And let's go by just slot by slot here and show you what I got. I got some slip or some pinch weights right here. Just some small ones, not very big. Well, I guess those are pretty big. Nah, they're small. And we got some catfish and weights. You put them on the end and then you drop them. Well, I can't get anything right today. I actually don't know what these are for. I use them for catfishing because they're actually pretty big weights. And I just dropped them in the middle of a lot of hooks. Ow. A lot of hooks just hit me at once. Hey, damn it. Get out of there. Look. Look where that just landed. If y'all can see it, it's right there. Now I got to dig through all these hooks and try to get it out. Oh, there we go. There you go. Now I got them. Move right along. I got some huge lead weights over here for Megalodon fishing or something like that. I don't know. I don't know why it does. And then I have some smaller little sinkers right here. Not the smallest. Not the ones that I use for bass, but some pretty small ones. And then I got the smaller versions that I actually do use for bass right here in my hand. The size that I like to use is about that big. Let me get a hook for reference. Um, where's the hook? Where's the catfishing hook? Hooks. Marco. Polo. There we go. There's a hook size for reference. Anyways, yeah, I can use about that size. Don't know. Don't have a clue what ounce they are or whatever. I don't know. I don't care. I just fish with them. Because why not? Why do I need to know that? If they catch fish, they catch fish. I usually just spot size them. And these, these actually go, if you have a um, swivel on your, um, is my camera even focused? If you, have a slip, if you have a swivel connected to your line and connected to your hook, you can actually put one of these on there and it'll rattle. And then put a weight on the thing. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And then here's some weighted hooks. Over here. Over here's some more smaller size, like for, that might actually be a little bit big for trout. But yeah, that's what I use for like trout, all that good stuff, kind of the smaller species. And then here's some giant hooks for cat fishing, anything like that, turtle fishing. Heck, you can probably even catch a dinosaur on one of these suckers, just throw it out far enough. Anyways, moving along here pretty rapidly because this is going to be a long video already. See if they can adjust the brightness. Out. I can't tell. I can never tell because my screen is so dirty. I can never tell if you can see what I'm seeing or vice versa. Anyways, so. And then next over here in this giant pocket of fish hooks and mess. We got our nice bass hooks. Shape one another. Yeah, nice bass hook. Give the hand for reference. There he is right there. Not too big, not too small. Perfect to go in a bass's mouth. Catch them big old 7.2 pounders. Like this one right here. Shake your heads right here. Once again, no idea. I don't know the ounces or weights, kilometers, miles, ounce, gallons, any of this stuff. But here's a shaky head. I That's what I actually caught that big old fish that I just showed y'all right over there. That's what I caught him on. Big old shaky head. That my brother. So actually, when I caught that one, I did not know how to throw a shaky head. I've never thrown one before. I just stuck to Sankos and regular old hooks and weights. 
But my brother said, hey, Ty, I don't shake your head. And I was like, what the crap is that? And so he handed me one of these, and he showed me how to fish, and I was like, okay. Three casts later, that sucker hits. And yeah, it was awesome. And then we just got a row of catfish weights right here. Pretty good size. We got small, medium, and large. And then our next little hole, some swivels. Swivels are actually like really good because say you're throwing, I don't know, um, what is that called? A weedless. Like throwing a hook out there, weedless, no weight, and you have a swivel tied on, then you can just pop that off and then you can, you can pop your hook off and then you still have the swivel tied on to your weight, I'm, I'm into your line. I have no idea if I'm making sense right now, but anyway, so you still have the swivel tied onto your line, so you can just like hook on a frog or something and keep fishing. But yeah, it's really cool. And then over here in our next little pocket, we got some nice treble hooks that I like to use for turtle for turtle fishing. I think they're good to use for turtle fishing. Maybe catfishing, all that good stuff. And then here's what's really good for catfishing. Nice little circle hook. Cause as Kendall Gray says, the bath the catfish will be swimming along and he'll bite into the bait. Like, let me give you a nice little reference here. So the bait's right right here, and then Hold on. And then catfish comes along, you just like And then what this does actually just hooks into the side of his mouth without you even having to set the hook yourself. So yeah, it's pretty good. It's a really cool little deal. Anyways, that's it for the old hooks and weights. I actually bought all of this you see in here. I actually got a really good deal for it. This is what happened. I went to Walmart and I was just going to buy some stuff. How long have y'all been out of focus? I have no idea. Anyway, so I was just going to buy some stuff and I saw a pack that was from American Eagle for like seven bucks and it had all of this except for these and i think half these hooks but everything else that you see in here was in that pack for seven bucks and these little pinch weights but yeah that was a really good deal because if not i would spent like 40 bucks that day instead of like seven anyways yeah that's it for the old hooks and weights department that's what i got rocking and rolling with and next up is my spinnerbait box and my jig box I forgot I only had one spinner bait in here because my older brother likes to steal my stuff. Anyways, there's my center, my spinner bait. Usually I'll have a chartreuse one in here. Oh wait, no, the chartreuse one's in this other tackle box. I have a chartreuse one in here, like a chartreuse and white, and then just a green, like just a normal green. And over here we had some big old jigs. Look, look at the size of the jig at home. Look at the size of that thing. That's huge. I don't know why I decided to buy that. Probably because it was cheap. Anyways, I don't have a single finesse jig in here. Ladies and gentlemen, that ain't good. I should those big old football jigs in here. But anyways, so yeah, there are my jigs. There's my spinner bait. Not that exciting. Throw it back in there and pull out our top water. And let's look what we're rocking and rolling with in the top water department. So in here, we got this nice little wake bait that I have stuck somehow in the tackle box. Not even sure how that happened. But yeah, well, there's the action on that sucker, if y'all can see that. It's a nice little wake bait. I don't think I've actually ever used that. I just stole it from one of my friends once and I've used it. And then over here, we got these suckers. This nice little jerk bait. Do I know a jerk bait in here? I could've sworn I had another jerk bait. Maybe I should have that one. I have a popper. Two frogs, and then the daddy of them all, the whopper plopper. This thing is amazing, because what happens is, it goes in the water, and then these two propellers here just spin. And the fish are attracted to it, like flies to honey, like me to food. They're attracted to it good. But anyways, that's And this is going to be 
I drink big box. There you go. Here's just a couple little lipless cranks in here. And then just very little crank bits. Yeah, not too exciting. Just the usual the usual stuff. And all that that I showed you right there, the lipless cranks, the top waters, and the spinner baits, those are used primarily for bass. What is in here? Let's go and check out what's up here. Oh, another spool of line. Sweet. Didn't even know. See, I, mm, it's been a while since I picked out what's in here. Because usually I just go fishing with that because it's small and compact. And I think I took everything out of here. Nope. I still got a couple of That's just some little trout nibbles. But if we look inside this other pocket, we will hopefully find. Huh. I'm not. I thought I had some more power bait in here somewhere. Huh. Guess not. Anyway, so yeah, that's all that's in that tackle box. It's really good. As I said, my grandfather gave it to me. I love it. I use it. It is beautiful. Slide it off the side now. And now here's the tackle box that I use most of the time. Because as you can see, it's a lot more compact than this one. This one's a lot easier to carry. It holds a lot more, or yeah, holds a lot more stuff in one little small combined area. So as y'all can see here in the front pocket, we got a nice knife. You always need a knife when you're fishing because you want to get that bait off the line without cracking your teeth open. Nice one, handy. And then I got my scale tied onto here so I don't lose it. Nice little digital scale by Real Sonar. Real Sonar? Real Sonar. I'm, <laughs> I'm not into it. And then, this is what I really like about it. It's just got a little flap where you can hold your tackle box. And what I got in here is, once again, just like a little travel kit. I got, I got a nice shaky head, treble hook. Get off there. Oh, there's, nope, that's still a football jig. I was about to say, there's my finesse jig, but no one. And I got some catfish weights. That's just an assortment box. That, that over there is just where I throw random stuff in. And down here is for my little bluegill that I catch and keep in the pond. And that's just what I, all I have in that little slot is just these teeny tiny hooks that will go in the bluegill's mouth so I can catch them for y'all and for me, of course. And then over here, I have a frog, which is a nice little green color. And then a plopper, or a popper, excuse me. And here's my chartreuse spinner bait. As you can see, rotates well. And the water, it's got some really good action. Bass, love it. And then here's a little lipless crank there. Or, I'm actually not sure if that's a lipless or not. I don't think so. Maybe it's a rattle trap. I don't know. Comment down below what that is. Because... Like all of y'all, I'm still learning about fishing. I've been fishing for a while, but usually when I fish, this is what I fish with right here. A hook, a weight, and a little old Senko. And that's what I have in here, just hooks and weights, as you can see. So yeah, comment down below what this bait right here is, because I don't know. And then in the soft plastic department, is in this little zipper right here. And then boom. This thing is so cool. It has all these different like compartments where I can put all my different stuff. So there, there's some trailers. And there's some crawls. And up here I got my worms. Over here I got, oh yeah. These are my green worms. I love green worms. They just, mwah. And then over here is just an assortment of color of worms. Here's some big old finesse worms, like 
6,000 feet long. I think it's actually a 12 inch one. Maybe. It's either 12 or 8. Nope, 10.5. Anyways, moving along. Need some pink worms. Some green worms. I got everything in there and some flutes. But anyway, so yeah. If I'm fishing, like just pond hopping and stuff, this will mainly be what I'm carrying. Because as I said, it's light, compact. I can take it anywhere I want. And then... Oh my goodness, my brain just... Went <laughs> my brain just short-circuited. So now let's go look at my fishing reels and see what I fish with, reel-wise. So this is the first reel I'm going to show y'all. It is a Shimano... Right? Hmm. I never noticed it said that on there. Anyways, it's a Shimano. And it works really good. I got this one for my birthday. I love it. It works beautifully. I can grab one. And then I got a really long pole on there. I don't know the exact measurements of the pole. I can probably find it. It's a 7 foot medium heavy. And so yeah. It's really good. I use this from everything between catfish to bluegill. So yeah, it's a really versatile rod. It does everything I want it to. And yeah. And then here is my baby. This is a loose speed spool. And this is actually what I've caught most of my fish on in the past six to eight months. Because so I got it for Christmas last year. But how long is this? This is a six foot rod, right? Yeah, medium heavy. Anyways, so yeah, six foot rod, speed spool to lose. It's amazing. It's what I caught that 7.2 on. It's just a really great rod. I love how smooth I can reel it in. And so yeah. Anyways. Oi! I'll set that over there. I can show y'all both of them at once. There we go. And so, yeah. That is what I'm cooking with whenever I go fishing. Whenever I do anything like that, that is what I'm bringing. That's what I'm using. That's what I'm rocking and rolling with. My favorite two things to fish with, I would have to say, would be just a Texas Rig Sanko. And then probably the Whopper Whopper, if I had to say. Those are my two favorite baits. Both of them use for bass. That's what I fish for. I fish for largemouth. Because out here in Texas, that's mainly what there is. So we like to catch. So yeah. Once again, I'm sorry I haven't posted in a while. School and everything else. It's been kind of hectic. But I just want to get this video up for y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed. Comment down below if you if you have any tips for me. What I can do. How to improve. And so yeah. I'll catch y'all on the next one.